When I first moved to Utah, I had conversations with people and I had this desire to share the gospel with them. And uh, I think a lot of people have had a similar experience as me that as you do that, you find many LDS people will agree with everything I'm saying and just uh, sort of say, yeah, yeah, well, grace, we're saved by grace, sure. And, and, uh, and, and, and talk about it in similar ways that we talk about it. And, I, and it was a little frustrating to me because uh, I wanted them, desperately just wanted them to hear the gospel. Uh, Romans 10 tells us that it's by uh, hearing the gospel that we're enabled to uh, trust in it, right? To, to trust in Jesus. I have to understand the good news that, that he brings. And so um, I really wanted to try to break through that language barrier that we were kind of running up against, that we were saying the same words, but we were meaning something different. They're interpreting it through the LDS theology of what grace means. I'm using those words through a biblical idea of what grace means. And so uh, I, I really spent some time trying to figure out, so how do I communicate the gospel of grace clearly? Uh, I spent some time in, uh, uh, as, in doing my doctoral research on LDS views of grace and uh, in order to make it easier on me to understand where they're coming from so that I can share grace effectively. So what I've done in this chapter is I've, I've tried to communicate parts of, uh, of that information of what the LDS church means by grace and then on the other hand uh, tried to give a practical step for the believer to share uh, the gospel of grace hopefully in a way that enables the LDS person to really hear the good news, really hear what uh, how, how radical grace is, and, uh, and hopefully by hearing that, uh, uh, give them an option to maybe pursue that line of thinking deeper and, and try to develop their own understanding of what the Bible says grace is. And so I, I move through uh, a piece of um, Abraham's life, and I connect that a little bit with Romans chapter 4 uh, to try to help uh, move the LDS person to seeing, again, just how radical grace is uh, so that they can also come to know Jesus as their Savior and Lord in the same way the Bible would lay out for them to do.